The aircraft interior show at Hamburg is really the place where engineering meets art. And the art and design is actually quite incredible as I'm walking through this installation, a tunnel that's taking me in to understand deconstructionism. And they tell me that deconstructionism changes my personal experience by simply modifying my perspective. And what they've done is taken us on this immersive journey through this interactive tunnel that changes the outlook of cabin design. Well, if you want to see more about changes of cabin design, come on with me to the show. And life was imitating art inside the show, where technology specialist Lufthansa Systems was demonstrating how its people are the hidden driver behind so much of the technology on aircraft by neatly camouflaging staff members. New technology was prevalent at this, the world's largest event for passenger experience. Panasonic unveiled ARC, a moving map that does so much more. This is the first of the industry's most personalized maps and it's been launched right now, it's being built in Sweden by us, our Swedish subsidiary Tactile. So it's coming from experience outside of this industry, so it's a totally new thing. Very unique when it comes to the user experience and it keeps people entertained in a cinematic way. The connected experience has been a buzzword at cabin events for a while. And European manufacturer Airbus announced its pioneering Internet of Things in the Aircraft Cabin is now moving from concept to reality. The platform links the connected galleys, mill trolleys, seats and overhead bins in real time to provide data to the crew and also to the cloud for subsequent trend analytics. There was a massive interest in wellness and well-being at the show. Supermodel Tony Gunn is the co-founder of Jetlight, which announced its partnership with Recaro to blend its individualized human-centric lighting into business class seats to support the circadian rhythm and reduce the effect of jet lag. I'm a model and actress, so I'm, I live in planes. I'm in a plane every week, and I can never choose what time I fly. I can never choose what airline I use, so I would love for this technology to course come into the most airlines as possible because if there's a way to fly healthier um, I'm all up for it. And it was not just lighting that was in the spotlight. Taste also featured with added vitamins and dissolvable tablets that sort out your blood for ultra long flights. And smell didn't linger either with Fokker bringing innovation to the cabin air. We, we think we have found a very exciting solution. It is a, a cabin scenting system that we uh, developed together with, uh, with Rituals and Sense Company that allows us to, um, to distribute on a, on a subtle and uh, controlled way a nice scent in the cabin and make the passenger feel comfortable. But, uh, it, it, it will help people with fear of flight, for example. So when we look at innovation, how about this? Something that can make boarding easier and speed it up. We know low-cost carriers are always desperate to get those minutes. Well, just look at this. The seat slides in so you've got bigger aisles. At worst case, it saves five minutes, and in tests, it's doing as much as 10. So when I'm boarding, back I go. Now, what's the worst thing that can possibly happen? You're sitting settling down, and the biggest bloke on the plane is gonna come, and you know he's gonna sit next to you. But actually, do you know, with a recess, it doesn't make a difference. Look at this, two armrests, I'm comfortable, we can take off. UK seat manufacturer Acro introduced its six series seat for the tightest of seat pitches aimed at the low cost economy market. But with a slightly wider center seat, plus novel design to the frame and the curves of the seat back, makes the worst seat on the plane more bearable. Northern Ireland's pitch saw its PF3000 selected by Antonov for its AM148 regional jet, while award winner Butterfly Seating unveiled an innovative concept for a business class seat for narrow bodies that can switch from two seats for short regional flights into a single lie flat suite for longer flights now becoming popular with types like the A321. The transformation takes less than 10 seconds. Look out for a new seat coming in the future with a great automotive heritage. Formula One's Williams Engineering has teamed up with aerospace designer JPA and is promising an exciting new seat within the next two years. And for the business and corporate market, Starling Aerospace unveiled the latest version of its 360 degree track and swivel seat. It's a seat that will tra tra track in any direction, stop in any direction within about 10 inches, which is unique. Um, it'll swivel 360 degrees 
and it can do a total recline, so to 179 degrees, almost flat. There's so much innovation at this show, and there's things that are coming in the future. And as we come to the end of the event, what more could we do than draw from our own little suite here a nice chilled bottle of bubbly, settle down, and watch wearefin.com on our own TV set. This is the future. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.